today our topic is how to set up and configure visual studio code salesforce cli and salesforce extension pack plugin in bs code so you can see the yellow bullet point so we will go one by one hello everyone as you can see in this ppt so today our topic is how to set up and configure visual studio code salesforce cli and salesforce extension pack plugin in bs code so you can see the yellow bullet point so we will go one by one this step so our first step is install salesforce cli then once the salesforce cli get installed we'll set up the environment variable for the salesforce cli then we will update salesforce cli with latest versions and so once salesforce cli setup is done then we will install visual studio code and finally once visual studio code is ready then we will install the plugin called salesforce extension pack in our visual studio code now before executing this step one pre step you have to execute if that is not available in your machine actually some features in salesforce extension for vs code depends upon java platform so it is recommended from salesforce that you need to have either java versions 8 or 11 installed in your machine in this video i am not going to explain you how to install java i am assuming the java is already installed in your machine and if it is not there then you can just click on the above i button to check how to install java in your machine okay then let's go step by step so our first aim is to install salesforce cli so how to do that so before installing a salesforce cli you need the software right so what you have to do first you have to go to your browser and search for salesforce salesforce cli so once you search that so you can get the first option salesforce cli click here and you can get this type of windows which actually redirect developer.salesforce.com slash to slash sfdx cli so i will share this link in uh, video descriptions you can directly go from there now you can see there are multiple system options are there so currently i am using windows and 64 bits so my option is this and once you click here you can download salesforce cli so i have already downloaded that one so that's why i am not clicking here but you can click here and download that one and install you need to install that software so this is my software i have already downloaded so what is our next step as per ppt we have to install this salesforce cli so this is a normal uh, installation process so you have to double click here so once you double click here so your system will give you different type of options to install that one so you just use the default one no need to currently you know set up any other thing so i am just going to installing this sfdx or salesforce cli so i'm just clicking the next and i set my destination folder c program file sfdx it is by default for me then i click installed so once i click on the installed system will automatically install that sfdx or salesforce cli now you can see that uh, installation is successfully completed so let me close this one and again open this ppt now if i check my ppt again so you can see my first step is done installations of salesforce cli what is the next step next step we have to set the environment variable for this salesforce cli now before uh, going to this environment variable setup you have to know where you installed your salesforce cli so for my case i have installed my salesforce cli under c program file sfdx and you can see here a bin folder now what you have to do you have to just copy paste this address in your environment variable path setup so i have just copied this address 
then I have to check how to go to or set up the environment variable for the CLI so you can you know go to your my computer then go to the properties so it will open a windows where if I scroll it bit down so you can see there is an advanced say system setting so click it here and you can see a environment variable button now click here so you can see there are user variable for admin and system variable and the options path maybe you can set it here or you can set it here so for my case let me set it here so once you select the path and then edit it so you can see the you know uh, the environment variable what is already set up for your machine that will be available here so you can see here for my case while installing it will automatically set the environment variable here which I just few seconds before copy but if it's not you know set it here then you have to manually do by click on this new button then you have to paste your path here and once you done then you just click OK for my case I am just cancelling this one because it is already set it up now my environment variable is set up my environment variable setup is done so as per PPT my second step is also done what is the next step next step is that I have to update Salesforce CLI with latest versions but before that let's check what is the versions I have I, I installed here okay so for that you have to go to your command form as I am using Windows so I am going to my command form okay so once I open this command form here you just type sfdx double hyphen version now enter this command if your uh, Salesforce CLI installed properly you can get the version which is installed in your machine so you can see my uh, Salesforce CLI version so as I just installed this one so hopefully this is the latest version but if your Salesforce CLI installed before you can update it and for that you have to type sfdx update so once you type this command and enter so system will automatically update uh, your Salesforce CLI with the latest versions so now my update is done so uh, you can also check the latest versions for my case as it's installed just few minutes before so I have already the latest version so now if I go back to my PPTs so you can see I have downloaded Salesforce CLI then I have installed the Salesforce CLI I have set up the environment variable and then update Salesforce CLI with latest version now what is the next step next step is that we have to install visual studio code again to install visual studio code you have to first download the software so again you have to go to your web browser okay then search for uh, BS code BS code so once you search for that you can see the first option visual studio code click here and you can see this window where code.visualstudio.com as a redirect okay so I will share the same URL in descriptions so that you can directly click here and get this window now here what you have to do based on your system you have to download this software for my case it's a window x64 so I have already downloaded this software so let me go there and then let me install that software okay so I have installed my software in this folder okay so this is my uh, visual studio uh, software so you have to just double click here 
now it will open this window just accept this i accept the agreement then click next it give you uh, your uh, path where it need to be installed okay so I put it as default then next again next I make this uh, setup as it is okay click next then install so you can see uh, uh, it's installing visual studio code now you can see VS code installations has been done successfully so let me finish it now let me go to the PPT again so my VS code already installed now my next step is Salesforce extension pack plugin installations in VS code so for the same what you have to do you have to first open visual studio code editor so on the time of installations if you already set up uh, the icon need to be display in your desktop so you will get the icon this type of icon in your desktop otherwise the ne other other step is that you can you know directly search bs code from here and you can see uh, visual studio code uh, with this icon okay so click it here once you click here so you will redirect to this type of editor okay so here you can see there are in in your left hand side there are number of icon so you have to click on this extension icon okay so once you click on this extension icon here you can get a, a search extension in marketplace options so here you have to search salesforce extension pack so this is my salesforce extension pack once you click it here so you can get an option installed so just click on this install button so once you click this install button system will automatically try to install necessaries plugin under this BS code so once your installation is done you can see this type of options okay so now your BS code is ready to use any you know salesforce uh, related you know development or other activities so if i go to you know ppt's again and try to conclude what we did so you can see it here that we have first download salesforce cli software then install the salesforce cli software then we set up the environment variable for cli okay then we update salesforce cli with latest versions then again we installed visual studio code but before that we download visual studio code for our system then after installation the last step is you know install the salesforce extension pack in bs code so i hope uh, you can understand how to you know set up visual studio code with salesforce cli extension and install salesforce cli i believe this video has helped you to understand about the topic thank you for watching please do subscribe click on the bell notifications and select all so that you don't miss any video from this channel